Hi, Linda here from Jewelry Maker, and have I got something amazing for you today. Um, this pearl kit is just out of this world. Um, it contains within it one of the most splendiferous pearls I have ever seen. Uh, it reminds me of a um, smaller version, much smaller version, of that huge pearl that was found under a fisherman's bed. Fairly recently um, in the Philippines um, that he had found 10 years previously, didn't know what it was, popped it under his bed, 10 years later found out that it was something like 75 kilogram in weight, natural pearl, love to have seen the mollusk that that came out of. Anyway, um, this is a fantastic look, a fantastic Baroque pearl. Single pearl, have you ever seen anything like that? We've had the nucleated and everything, they're all absolutely stunning, but I've never seen one quite like this. These are all hand-picked, we've only got a very limited quantity of them, and then I think short of absolutely breathtaking. We've also got in the kit this gorgeous chain and many other components, but I'm going to start with this particular um, piece as a demonstration. I've kept it really simple because I feel that a pearl of this calibre, in my opinion, just needs complete centre stage. It doesn't need any embroidery to it other than this gorgeous chain, which again is quite unique. Um, so I've set it very simply and trust me, uh, I think you'll treasure this for years and years to come. Right, now in order to make this piece, all the pearls in the various kits will obviously be slightly different. Mother Nature's designed them, Mother Nature's created them, and she doesn't make anything the same within the pearl and the gemstone world. So this one's slightly different, quite similar, but slightly different. Um, and it has a drill hole through the pearl, which is corner to corner, which I think is really well thought out because it gives you that lovely angle of that pearl it puts it sort of into perspective when you get it onto the chain rather than having it straight through the center two ways you could set the pearl you could either have it as a um, pendant in which case your um, your wire would come here to here or a head pin um, or as I'm going to set it, I'm going to set it as a continuation of this beautiful gold-plated 925 sterling silver chain. Um, two fabulous components, so I'm just kidding. they're both of equal calibre, and I want to keep them both, uh, you know, in their simple form. So, uh, in order to set the pearl, I've got here a length of 0.6 wire. Now, when you're coming to make this, um, my other pearl in the uh, um, original piece actually could take a 0.8 mil wire. This one won't. I mean, all pearls are drilled by hand, um, etc., etc., and that they are drilled for beauty. So um, whoever's drilling them, it has to be ultra careful. Um, so, but I found that 0.6, which is absolutely fine. 0.6 will go through here perfectly. Now. The reason why I would say, oh, don't jump to a point four because you know it'll go through is we do want a bit of friction between the pearl and and the wire once the wire's inside because it'll just keep it in place. I think it'll slide around on a four. And anyway, that's a little bit too uh, narrow a gauge uh, for something like this. So it's a matter now of finding out if we have any little blockages within the pearl often when a pearl's drilled you'll get a little bit of pearl dust in there um which is completely normal it's just literally nacre that's uh, with the drilling it's just powdered um so we'll pop our 0.6 wire in see now that that is got some restriction there just now if you feel real restriction there take your flat nose pliers right about half a centimeter from the pearl and just irritate into that pearl right now that one really doesn't want to go so i am now going to try it from the other side and here we have the hole right i think this one's going to be better right so again who who knew 
that from it's the same hole, but from that direction, I got a little blockage I couldn't move. But from this direction, for some magical reason, hopefully, I'll be able to get the wire through. So again, about half a centimetre away, just continue to push. Yes, I can feel that coming through brilliantly. Okay, so now we've got our wire at either end. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my flat nose pliers and I am just going about a centimetre, or just under, I'm going to make a right angle. Okay, and then I'm going to form a simple loop. Okay, now the simple loop, um, let me just pull that out slightly. Simple loop, about a centimetre again, down the plier. Can't feel anything restricting, I can't feel anything sharp, I should say, there. Because if you can, that little piece of wire there won't form part of the, um, the circle of the loop and you won't get a round loop, which is what we want. So I'm going to pop my um, index finger in there just to support it put my thumb on the top to support it again and then gradually turn around turn as far as i can go once my elbow starts to get uncomfortable take out my pliers pop them back in and then just edge that down okay so now we can see we have got a nice round loop um, there ready to be attached to the chain right so now i'm going to pull that loop into place right by the pearl okay let's pull that right into place keep it nice and tight and then this end again i'm going to take my flat nose pliers right on the um right by the pearl push down a little and push it away and then about a centimeter trim off your excess Round those pliers, again, exactly the same, about a centimetre down, can't feel anything there, which is why often it pings off like that. Lots of pressure. Coil back and up. Ease back in to the pearl. Then take your flat nose pliers and just give that a little pinch and that one a little pinch, just so that you know you have got the wire on that connection um, parallel well not parallel actually anything but parallel um, they're joining together right so that's the pearl now prepared what I did um, with the chain okay with this gorgeous chain um, which I think I mentioned is uh, gold plated 925 sterling beautiful chain I've not seen anything like this at JM before I've cut two lengths okay of 20 lengths now when you cut the chain, you will see, let me see if I can point it out to you. You will see um, when you look at the links that there is a natural join on the link here that has been soldered. Okay, now if you, just, there's extra gold there, obviously. So if you just give that a bit of a snip. I found for some reason, and I couldn't, I can't explain, it must be scientific, it was better than the smoother end here. Give that a little snip and then remove the links of chain that you want. Keep that, that link that you have cut, please keep it because the chain will return beautifully just like a jump ring. You could use it then say in an earring drop or as a bail drop or there'll be lots of things that you can use it, rectangular, jump ring. So um, don't throw that away for goodness sake. It's an expensive piece of kit. So now we've got our two lengths of chain. Right, now to attach to the pearl, all we have to do, pick up a pearl, find where our simple loop opens, okay? And then supporting the loop, just flick upwards. Take your length of, link of chain and pop in, okay? Once that is securely in there, just return that simple loop back to where it came from and again a little pinch to straighten up that loop repeat the same on the other side i've done such a good loop here i can't see where it opens i think it's there yep open it just away from you never open them 
from east to west because you'll just compromise that beautiful circle. Pop in and again, just let that chain drop down, flatten those pliers, back in, pinch it, and now our pearl is a part of our chain. In other words, you know, it sort of goes from chain into pearl, and what's a pearl? Out again into chain. And I think very simply done, but I think for me very, very effective. Now, what you have to do now is obviously think about your um, clasp. Now, I've chosen a um, little toggle clasp. Now, when you have these toggle clasps, they will come um, jumping together. Right, now, to open the jump ring, find out where that little opening is, and it's about there, I think. Open it up. Right now, in my experience, this jump ring needs to be used. You need to keep it on the T bar. So remove the toggle. Okay. Now, if I lost that jump ring and I hadn't got another one that same size and I put one on bigger, when you come to put the toggle, Sorry, the, um, when you come to put the T-bar into the toggle, a larger jump ring will get caught in the toggle and you won't be able to pull it through. So keep, keep that jump ring. It's actually there, in my view, as a purpose, um, not just to keep them together for transit. Right, all you've got to do now is take your link and close your jump ring. Around those pliers. I haven't got another pair of flats here and return slightly away and then back again then it doesn't matter now on the um on the actual toggle but i'm keeping um keeping into sort of the pattern the fact that this is just slightly larger than the other jump ring rather than a humongous great jump ring and then i'm just going to open that pop that toggle on Pop that through the last link of chain on the other side and close. Just close up until you can hear that click. Okay, that's nicely closed. It's not um, sticking up anywhere. It won't scratch. And that is that design completed quickly effectively, beautifully, imagine, I can see that in a very high-end jeweler's, sitting on its own in, say, a little round window, all on its own, with price on application. Enjoy this kit, because they won't come around very often. I've loved every second of it. See you soon. Keep safe. Bye-bye.